Very good morning. It's Friday the what day is it? The twenty seventh of January. Hope you're having a good start to your Friday, and uh, certainly it will um, be one of those mornings, a Jan, a typical January morning. We are having to grab that jacket, and certainly uh, it will feel rather nippy, especially in exposure to that breeze coming in from the southeast. All that cold air coming in off the near continent here, so we've noticed the difference. We've noticed. The uh, real um, dryness in the air representing a, a much more continental type air mass where you have very little moisture within it. So many areas that were well below freezing this morning, you might have seen very little in the way of frost. And the reason why is the lack of moisture in the air. Of course, with frost formation, you need moisture. And uh, that um, has uh, been rather absent within this air mass. Um, but... Unfortunately, uh, for folks that like the cool weather, a nice clear blue skies, that is uh, about to change, that is about to dissipate as we see Atlantic air coming back into the equation once again. So we're pulling in milder air from the Atlantic through the weekend here, but it's going to come um, gradual uh, because we're going to see an increase in cloud cover. The cold air will remain uh, within the low levels of the atmosphere, especially with that milder uh, cloud cover person in uh, quite often you get that overriding the colder uh, collected at the base of the atmosphere and what that happens is it tends to linger for a few days despite the milder air overrunning that colder you get fog you get mist you even get precipitation falling as uh, perhaps uh, ice pellets or even sleety kind of um precipitation so uh, it is going to be a kind of gradual breakdown in this kind of cold spell if you will and uh, what we are going to see is the introduction of milder atlantic air once again as we go through the weekend this is the eps control 500 millibar geopotential heights for the next 10 days and looking at the hemispheric view got um a predominantly low pressure um pattern across the arctic at the moment if you notice here we've got a big strong area of high pressure over centered over uh, really the baltic sea low pressure just to the west of the british isles sitting over ireland here so that's why we're seeing mild conditions here um but uh, with the southerly airflow coming in off france cold air mass in place you get the idea why it's as chilly as it is but uh, we are going to see that trough kind of that fairly narrow area of troughiness push into the uk through the weekend introducing something a little bit more unsettled and then there's another trough coming in off uh, north america here but what is interesting is the high that's over scandinavia the ecmwf and the eps control run the ensemble takes that scandinavian high up towards greenland and then the area of trophiness over uh, currently over eastern north america that slides underneath and albeit this trough is coming in off the atlantic there could be a build-up of colder and uh, drop in heights here so notice here what we're talking about this is out the tuesday of next week the trough is kind of sliding underneath building heights over uh, greenland uh, a reformation of high pressure over scandinavia yes we've got southwesterly winds but colder air is associated with this trough and we need to watch out this pattern because we could start to see as we go towards particularly the middle part of february bear in mind the strat warming that we're seeing as well bear in mind that we're seeing a reversal in the upper heights over the arctic region we could start to see a cold trough start to kind of form over the uk with building heights up over greenland here so we could be looking at a colder pattern with yes a, 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 an elongated north america to europe trough but heights are strong over the top and this can represent a cold signal as the pattern progresses through the month of february here so these are just general ideas that i've got at the moment notice here by the time we get out to day 10 so that's monday the 6th of february you've got somewhat of a reversal in the heights we've got positive here over uh, over the ural mountains here of russia we've also got a positive extending from alaska into eastern parts of uh, siberia here and uh, it's difficult to pinpoint exactly what's taking place because the models are struggling to see what's going on within the stratosphere uh, once the modeling can understand what the atmosphere is doing up above 
there's a better handle as to what it sees underneath. <coughs> Excuse me. It gives the chance for the models to see what's going on underneath. So it's an interesting pattern. We're turning more unsettled once again. It has been chilly. By even by January standards, it isn't anything particularly uh, the sniff at. Wind chills certainly last night were bitter across the east coast in particular of England. Uh, this is waning and uh, we're going into a more typical kind of unsettled pattern, but there is plenty of <coughs> plenty of optimism as we go into the month of February. So that's it for today. Do check out the written post available later on and I'll be back on Monday again. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.